Oh, this one is awesome. I can't even explain it with words. I got to show it to you. Come on, let's jump in. This is the amazing one page calendar that is shared by one of our audience, Sharice. Sharice emailed me this file telling that he created it after looking at such a PDF somewhere on the web. So how to use this? Let's see the day of week for 27th of July 2021. Locate 27 here in the dates and then month July there and then just follow along and you will see that it is a Tuesday. You can use the same to calculate any date on any month of any year. So for example, I'm going to change the year to 2025 and let's calculate what day of week it would be on October 9th. So we put 2025 here and then October 9th is what we want. So locate the 9 and October and then just see that it is actually a Thursday. So how did Sharice make this? The concept is fairly simple once you understand and there is a file link in the video description. So feel free to go and check it out. But let me explain it at a high level. So we print all the 31 days here. This is a very simple sequence formula. So sequence of five, seven, it will create five rows, seven columns separated by one number at a time. So it will go from one to 35 and then it transposes that so that we get this nice little grid. Because any month will only have up to 31 days, all of these are automatically hidden using conditional formatting, but the numbers are still there. Then we also print Monday to Sunday here and then kind of move it one day forward at a time. So it becomes Tuesdays to Monday, Wednesday to Tuesday, like that all the way up to Sunday to Saturday. The only tricky bit is figuring out which month to put on the top. This is where all we have to calculate is when is the first of any month is and if the first of the month is Monday, then we print that month there. If the first of the month is Tuesday, then we print it here like that. So to do this, what we are doing, what Sharice has done is he's used a fairly long formula to calculate all of this. But there are some hidden cells guiding him in the process. So I'll just unhide them first. And you can see that here what he's doing is he's generating the first of every month in that year that we selected here. So 2025 all the firsts of all the months are printed here and then he is calculating what the weekday of that is so it will be wednesday on 1st of jan 2025 and monday on 1st of december 25 using this information he is then just simply printing all the mondays here all the tuesdays here all the wednesdays here so for that this is the formula that he is using he is using the index and match formulas uh, well, not technically match, but the small formulas to do that. Another alternative is he could have used the filter function as well, which would have made it slightly shorter. But in either case, we just print the month and everything else follows from there on. So if the first of the month is Monday, second of the month will be Tuesday and the third of month will be Wednesday. It might be tricky to understand all the formulas in one go, but feel free to download the file that is available in the video description below and use it to understand the logic of this calendar. This is a really fun way to explore the calendar because this calendar is so tiny, you can actually print it and keep it in your pocket or maybe on your desk and refer to it whenever you need it. Big thanks to Sherry's for sharing this file with me so I can show it off to you and help you learn another way of using excel hey did you also make something awesome using excel or power bi and want to share it with the world please email it to showcase at chendu.org that is showcase at chendu.org and i will review your files and if possible i will make a video sharing your work with the world thank you so much for watching and here is a video that youtube thinks you will enjoy check it out see you again Bye bye